everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armour with a stock swoosh. This is TLRD. This is a good gap today, rated 20 points, and it worked. Eric did it. You did a good job today in this. Okay. The only thing I could say today is just be a little bit faster. But, but you know, this is still very new for you. So anyways, here it is. And the, the th interesting thing is this has only even traded out for one year. I typically am not crazy about these. It only has one year of trade history. But it worked. Actually, and you didn't even check if you had this short, but luckily you did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you didn't check in the morning. All right, let's take a look at it. It was a little crazy until it broke. Were you scared? Because it backed up. You took it and then you were down. A little bit, yeah. You were scared. It kept swinging around, yeah. Here. It fluctuated, yes. Because it was... So here was the here was where oh, I called it, yeah. and then it, then you were down in it here, and it yeah, was almost stopped yeah, out. Yeah, it was getting close. You had to stop in though, right? Yeah, yeah, but you know. Mhm. Mm and then the same thing happened here, and then you were down again. Yeah, I made mean, like eight bucks, and I was like, <laughs> I know, I was in the red for eight or. You were know. down eight dollars. That's like that's that. okay. It was more, yeah. So if you wanted to get crazy, you could have taken more here, but the stop would have been the same place. Anyways, it dropped, 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 and then you got out. And then it went a little bit more. Oh, you could have told me that. What? So I could have took more? No, you can't get nuts here. This is only your second day. <laughs> you're like, yeah. you're like, when can I take 20 and 100 shares? Oh, <laughs> For, you are hilarious. <laughs> First of all, you did not even fill out the sheet this morning to see what your maximum buying power is, a position you could have taken. You don't even know. Yeah. Remember, you tried to do the target one the other day, and you couldn't, so who knows? You could figure that out. In fact, figure it out right now. What is the maximum amount that you could have taken in this? I don't know. At 16, at 16 you, you got filled at 1667. You wouldn't have been able to take a little over 1,000, actually. And you took how many? How many did you take? Um, 400. Yeah, so you would have been able to take maybe like 1,100 or something like that. But if you don't even have that figured out, you're really doing all of that in your head as well, besides the position sizing of the stop. So, you know, again, on the sheet in the morning, number of shares, quantity, you can figure out what you're allowed to take. It's so more important. Huh? Cash buying power. Yeah, you could have taken at least a thousand. Okay. You know? Yeah. Anyways, the point is you did your right size for your risk with the dollars and cents. If the trade had stopped, yeah. you don't max out the trade. <laughs> You're like, oh, oh, oh. I don't max out my buying power. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what you would have been doing here because the bottom line is the stop couldn't be lowered. Yeah. You would have had to keep the stop the same. Just to say in it. And it was bouncing. Some people said they did chicken and exits, which is fine. They, mm -hmm. they trade like that. They scalp, they get out here and here and then here. But I felt like it was going to work. I felt like it was good. It was good. It was good. It was good. Typical traders, though, look to buy these things in here. And then they're stopped out here when you get the flush. Mm -hmm. Traders like to buy these again for the gap fills. Similar to the urban, what people like to do. But you see here, mm -hmm. the consistency is you rate the gap. It rates well. You follow the trade. You take it when it sets up and you do it. I said $16 for this today, but... You know, I didn't know the time it would get there. Let's see when it did get there. It was a little later. Well, it got to 1575, 1571. Oh. Time of the day was 1030. So you would have had to hold it like for another half, you would have had to hold it for another half an hour, which isn't that bad. It was bouncing. Of course, nothing goes straight down. Yeah. Nothing. Mm. So if you can't stomach that, then you get out. You wanted to retake it again. Let's just see, it did have one more, it did have a setup in here late. It did have a full-on setup I was lecturing, but it did have a setup that you could have reshorted it in here and taken it down for like another 50 cents. But when you're up for the day and your goal is in for the day, then I think you, then you, I think you stop. Basically, you made 15% of your account today. That's good. If you did that every day, that would be fantastic, okay? So there was nothing wrong with getting out where you did. And some people got out a little bit later, but it's fine. Do you have any questions about this at all today? Not really. Just... Well, when you, what made you go from, put this, why did you put the stop at 1725? Because it was, because the spread was changing. See, now here it was, it's one penny, but I saw it open up then. It was opening up then. Were you watching this at all? That they'd ask for level two? You have to look at the spread. So I always give the cushion for the spread, and then it was opening up like 
five, six cents. And then I was like, crap, pull, pull it up. It didn't matter in the end. I think when it retested it, 17.05, but you got to give a cushion and then you give the spread cushion. And I just didn't know then because it was opening up. Now it is pretty firm now. Oh no, see there it is two, you just saw it, it was two cents. See now it's three cents. See now it's three cents. Now it's two cents. But it was it was it was like going five cents, six cents then after okay. we were in it, and then I was like, uh, ooh, and then gave a little cushion. But doing something like that isn't gonna kill you if you give a little more run. But you're still gonna have a cutoff point. You see, yesterday if you hadn't had the stop in for that one, you have to have to have to have to have to have a stop in. And the problem is you gotta know what, for you to take the exit, you gotta cancel the stop and then get out. And you gotta be able to do that fast enough. Cause what if it doesn't go? You think it's gonna get out? You reminded me, cause I. Oh, to... <laughs> oh reminded that's you of what? What? There for a <laughs> what? You didn't. You didn't put the stop in. No, or what? you cancel the stop and then hit short. Oh, uh, oh. Yeah, I was like. Well, you gotta remember that. Happen. That's yeah, important. I yeah. Playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. So this was a good one today. You did a great job, and we're probably gonna go in tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, we, I mean, literally, you did a good job flipping to have this up today because Staples was the one we were originally watching, and I said, just have this up and you'll be fine, but this really did end up working out, and the Staples did not. In fact, let's look quickly at the Staples. Wow, was this really crazy today. Look at it. Look at the down. first 15 minute bar. It's insanity. The first 15 minute bar, look at the tail on it. Mm. Look at the tail there. That Look at that spike. That's what we watched. Look at the daily. It did come down a little bit. Wow. It did, but how can you touch yeah. this? This looks like dangerous. It was, there was no correct entry or setup in this after the way that it opened. It's unfortunate. So this was much smoother, even though we waited. Oops, no, that's the wrong one. Hold on. Even though you waited, mm -hmm. this was a much smoother ride. Don't ever trade something like that that has a tail like that. It's very dangerous. It's too much machines, and you'll get hurt in it. You won't make money in either direction, something like that. So this is Melissa um, with the stock swoosh here with Eric, and we just reviewed the TLRD stock swoosh show play of the day. Good job today. Earth made money. We'll see what we get tomorrow. Have a good day, everyone.